Welcome back to Tech by Pike. Today we're doing a benchmarking showdown between the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra versus the iPad M1 Pro from last year. That's a 12.9 inch tablet. Let's go over the specs real quick. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra comes with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, that's an 8 core, 4 nanometer CPU, has a Adreno 730 GPU, 12 gigs of RAM, and 256 gigs of storage. The Apple iPad Pro 12.9 has the M1 chip, that's an 8 core CPU, 4 performance cores with 4 efficiency cores, has an 8 core GPU, 16 core neutral engine, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and this one comes with that 1 terabyte SSD. Both tablets have the ARM based chips. We're going to run CPU benchmarkings on both tablets from Geekbench 5. All right, the Geekbench 5 benchmarking tool has finished, and there is quite a gap between the M1 iPad Pro and the Snapdragon Galaxy Tab 8. Uh, the single core score at 1720 beats out the 1257 on the Samsung, and then the multi-core score on the iPad at 7,251 beats out the multi-core score at 3,396 on the Galaxy Tab. So quite a gap in scores here from Geekbench 5. I'm just going to scroll down here real quick. Hopefully my fingers aren't in the way. And you can slow this down if you want to get a better look at all these different um, scores here around HDR, ray tracing. Um, so anyway, let's run our next benchmark. So we're going to run Geekbench ML and it's interference benchmarking uh, that measures the performance of, in this case, we're going to run it with the GPU at performing machine learning interference tasks. This could take a little bit, so we're gonna run it right now. Okay, Geekbench ML is complete, and obviously there's a gap here. The iPad Pro with the M1 got 2,846, and the Samsung Galaxy Tab um, got the 1,972. Let's scroll down for some detailed scores, and you can slow down this video uh, to get a better look. The next benchmarking we're going to do is uh, through 3D Mark. It's Wildlife Extreme, and this is going to be a benchmark that compares the graphics performance of mobile computer devices, and in this case, this is against the Apple iPad M1 12.9 against the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. Let's go ahead and run this now. Okay, so we have our results and they are in. Our score for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra is 2,439 with an average frame rate FPS of 14.6. The M1 iPad 
obviously uh, doubled it uh, practically. It is a score of 51, 22, and the average frame rate, FPS, is 30.7. Wow, quite the gap. Your score versus this model is 89%. Score versus all devices, 98% on the iPad. Score versus all devices, 74%. And then it's got uh, some monitoring. So it's a little bit different here. Score versus all device, 74%. Yeah. Well, there you have it. The iPad Pro M1 beats out the Samsung Galaxy Tab Ultra uh, in this benchmark score. Wow. Let's check out some gaming. So if we're just judging these two tablets on the benchmarking results and gaming, I would have to say it goes to the iPad Pro with the M1 chip um, over the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. I mean, this is a really nice tablet. Um, I'm just not sure it has the power to do everything that I would want it to do. The iPad Pro is my daily driver. I use it constantly for work, for play, for watching movies, and some of that stuff I can do on the Galaxy Tab for sure, no doubt about it. Um, but I just don't think that um, it has the power that I would need to consistently use it. Um, gaming itself, it was more enjoyable on the iPad only because and believe it or not, because it's smaller than the Gal Samsung Galaxy Tab S8. Um, I was able to reach triggers uh, more easily and it didn't tire out my hands as much uh, using the iPad Pro. And I did notice some lag on the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Just on Genshin Impact, there was just a little slight lag. And then on the uh, Counter-Strike, there was just a smidge of... Um, 
uh, latency you could tell during gameplay. But I mean, it wasn't it wasn't terrible. It was totally playable. But again, I, I have to give it to the iPad Pro. So anyway, there you go. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this from Tech by Pike, hit the subscribe button. We appreciate it. It helps the channel. Not only that, it gives us an opportunity to bring more videos like this to you. And it helps us get better as we go along. And so for that, we thank you. We'll see you in the next one.